The tactical response team surrounded the investigating officer, Sergeant Keshi Mabunda, as it is believed his life might be in danger. This is an extra measure that the SAPS has put in place because, as I've indicated, he deals with these sensitive matters and the high-profile cases that he is solving expose him in the media domain. So it's easy to identify him. So this is just an extra measure that we have applied as management to secure his safety. However, the defense says the state is exaggerating. We've appeared before this court on four different occasions. The accused was being minded by female police officials without the assistance of the TRT. Now the state, because they want to sensationalize things, they want to create an impression that we are dealing with this special case. During cross-examination, Sergeant Keshi Mabunda revealed that an investigator from one bank visited Sitswanto at the holding prison cell without informing him. While she is only allowed visitors on Tuesdays, the said investigator of the bank or its impersonator visited on Thursday. Mabunda says this highlights security concerns. Because last week on Thursday, I was phoned by the DCS personnel in, in my kingship saying that there was a visitor who wants to see the accused. They want to check with me. I'm aware of that. I said, no, I'm not aware of that. But like I said, when the information was communicated to me, they said it's an investigator from NetBank. NetBank. It is also alleged that Agnes Sitswanso is threatening the correctional officer who is expected to be called as a witness. The last time the court requested me to indicate the witness and what is that that is going to testify, there are threats against that witness from the accused and we are going to testify on that. That is why that witness is not here today. The bail hearing has been postponed to the 11th of January for the re-examination of the investigating officer, Sergeant Mabunda, by the state. Sitswanto will remain in custody until her next court appearance. Deborah Pagedi, SBC News, Mahigeng.